So, what was your thoughts on tonight? Was it, did it go the way you thought, or unexpected wins? I am just so pleased that five of the six nominees were here, that I got a chance to talk to them, they spoke so well. Thrilled for Ailish McColgan that the public vote was with her, that people connected with the emotion of that win as well as the achievement, you know, the sporting achievement of it. Thrilled that Sue Barker had no idea she was winning Lifetime Achievement. That, that's, uh, that's sort of the outstanding achievement of my life, to make sure she came, but she didn't know she was winning it. Um, and that was lovely. And the Lioness is winning Team of the Year. I mean, it has been the most outstanding year for women's sport that I can remember. And that goes back quite a long time. Um, and I'm just thrilled that so many different sports are recognised on a night like tonight and that we have time to talk to the nominees, that we can really hear their stories, which is kind of why that's what makes people care when you understand and hear the stories of the people involved. Yeah, I think that's a good point to make about the mixed uh, variety of sports because normally we don't get like a diver, an MMA person. We just get a lot of athletes like and maybe like footballers. So it's, it is really, it's different, isn't it? And do you think that's because of what's happened in the like now all these people coming out over the years i think the importance of female only sports awards is that you can have a list of of six people who are who are all women now on a mixed list you might get only the high profile ones the ones that whose sports get a lot of coverage they'll be the ones who break through into the mainstream this allows us to give time to the sports that, that might not get the same airtime, don't get the same newspaper coverage or talked about on the radio. And yet those that are working within them and achieving within them are training just as hard as anyone else. Yeah. Um, and in some cases putting themselves in considerably more danger. So it's just a really good chance to showcase that diversity. And I noticed that, um, I, I thought that um, Andrea spoke really well. What do, what do you think? Oh, She's so young. Andrea was brilliant and we'd had a quick chat outside and I'd asked her about her A-levels and then she told me about this EPQ, I think it's called, EPQ. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. And I said, oh, what's that in? And she told me, I went, okay, I'm going to ask you about that in the interview. She was so impressive and she's really thinking around the subject of body image and what the aesthetic sports as she talks about them so diving being one of those gymnastics being another um, those sports that are judged and what that does to your own image of yourself and I think it's really interesting subject you know I'm a very strong believer in women's sport having the power to project far beyond the field of play but it needs people to be able to share their message and she clearly is incredibly intelligent and is thinking very broadly around that subject yeah. We've got some really good personalities, I think, this yeah. year, don't we? Yeah, yeah Molly yeah. McCann had yeah. never done an interview with anyone other than, you know, an MMA specialist, you know, a post-fight interview she might have done. She'd never done a sit-down chat show type interview, and she was really nervous about it. I thought she was fantastic. She set the tone beautifully. Yeah. Well, it's been a really good evening. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you.